guys i will come back to how much works.com today let's learn how a uh, hydraulic transmission pump works it's also called as a charging pump or a crescent type pump basically they are used in backhaul or construction equipment and automatic transmission vehicles and it gets its drive from the torque on water so that's the torque on water docks from which we have just dismantled uh, our crescent pump so let's see how it internally works we'll dismantle and see it's working that's the outlet part of uh, the crescent pump okay that's outlet and that's the inlet or the suction right all there so we can see the internal gears also there that's the opposite side of the pump where it's mounted towards the torque on water and the torque on water gives the drive towards the pump so now let's rotate the gears and see exactly how it works so when the teeth engage each other it gets a delivery so that's where the teeth disengage when i rotate so that's the inlet port when the teeth open up and disengage that's the inlet and when they engage each other it's the outlet when the teeth meet each other it pushes the uh, oil outside so that's the delivery so that's how uh, the suction and the delivery is happening in a uh, crescent type pump now let's dismantle the whole pump and see what are the internal components and how it exactly works internally so that's the rear casing of the pump now let's uh, remove the rear casing and see the gears inside so that's the rear casing out there which has the inlet and uh, the outlet port so those are the internal gears uh, we have a small internal gear and an external gear so that's how they rotate and uh, when they rotate when the teeth disengage where the port I am I'm rotating right now that's the suction or the inlet when they open up a lot of pressure is created and it's trapped between the crescent and when the teeth engage each other it uh, creates a delivery so those are the ports so that's the opening the suction port over there and the oil traps between the teeth and that's the delivery where the teeth engage each other it push the oil outside so uh, you can see the oil is getting trapped inside the, the teeth and the crescent there's the point over there where it can be trapped and pushed outside now let's dismantle the internal gear which is actually getting the drive from the torque on water so that's the internal gear out there okay and now let's uh, dismantle and see the external gear so that is the driven gear internal gear is a driving gear and external gear is a driven gear that's the driven gear now let's keep it back how it was positioned inside the crossing pump that's how it looks and the bigger gap there we have the crossing all there and now let's see the port where inside the pump where these two gears were actually uh, installed or uh, mounted so the outer circle that's where the external gear or the driven gear is connected uh, that one that's the driven gear or the external gear and the internal gear or the driving gear is at the center that gets the drive that's a crescent which separates both the gears so let's keep it back the external gear and now the internal gear is uh, kept back see uh, that's how they align each other and i believe uh, you understand it's working so let's keep uh, uh, the rear casing where it where we have the suction and the delivery back and install it back towards the torque converter so that you can get an idea how they get aligned so that's how uh, it looks like and that's the point where we'll be putting back to torque converter docks and when the torque converter rotates that drive reaches the internal gear which helps the pump to work so let's keep it back like that so that's exactly how uh, it's been aligned on the machine so i believe you understand it's working please click the subscribe button to get updates please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team which will help us to upload more technical videos uh, thanks for watching this video happy learning have a great day